All right, so you've made it to radiology residency. Big congratulations, but now let me tell you what you can do practically to succeed. Now, first things first, in order to become a good radiologist, let's define exactly what is your responsibility. What does a radiologist do from day to day? So essentially, what your job is, you are a medical imaging specialist. Your job is to translate these images, hundreds, sometimes thousands of images. You're gonna translate that into a cohesive, accurate, detailed report where someone who, who is not able to look at the images or not even understand the nuances and the intricacies of medical imaging is gonna be able to form a picture in their mind. You're gonna take all the information you learned in medical school, four years of medical school, all that pathology, all the different differential diagnoses, you're gonna put it all together and you're now you're going to uh, correlate that with medical imaging. So these next four years, are gonna be for you to become an expert in all different modalities and all different specialties of medical imaging. Sounds like a big task? That's because it actually really is. And the first year of radiology residency is the most crucial. It's the most critical. It's when you're gonna be laying the foundation for the rest of your entire residency. And legitimately, the things that you learn in the first year of radiology residency, you are going to be referencing and it's gonna come back to you four years down the road when you're about to graduate and you might go into a fellowship and you're about to become an attending radiologist. So what can you do to be the best radiology resident that you can be? Now, number one, you are gonna be bombarded. No matter where you go, no matter which program you're part of, bombarded with tons and tons of radiology resources. Every resident, including myself, you become super, supremely overwhelmed with the amount of resources. And that's because radiology is not a core rotation in medical training. So because of that, it's something foreign. It's something brand new. It's a language that you now have to learn. But remember, radiology is a marathon. So you have four years to learn it. So don't get, try your best not to get overwhelmed. Now what you need to do is you need to decipher from all the infinite amount of resources and focus on what's best. Core radiology is by far the best all-inclusive resource. Essentially, it's gonna lay the foundation layer that you really need when you're going through each rotation. It's a large book with many chapters, goes over a lot of the basic concepts, and these are the concepts that you need to solidify, particularly in your first year. Usually in first year radiology residency, you don't take any independent call. You may still take call, but it'll be almost like a buddy call system where you'll be on call with a senior resident. So this is really your year to really read as much as you can. And that leads me into step number two. The second most crucial thing you can do to become a great radiology resident is consistency. Even if you read for five minutes every single day, that is going to compound. And when that compounds, it is gonna pay dividends down the road. So you have to make sure, more than other specialties in my opinion, that you really need to read every single day. You need to be reading something every single day, whether that's watching a video, whether that's going over what you cases that you went over earlier in the day, reading about pathology, reading a chapter uh, within the core radiology book. But you need to be exposing yourself to radiology every single day, the language of radiology, the differentials of radiology. It's a big game of differentials. That's what radiology is all about. Essentially, put yourself in the mindset of the clinician that orders the imaging study. And you yourself were that clinician one year ago, if you remember, if you did an intern year in internal medicine, or you did an intern year in general surgery, or if you did a transitional year. You, you were there with the patient trying to figure out, diagnose what was going on, trying to see if there was complications to something you may already know. You may have been able to diagnose it already via a physical exam, but now you want to know if it's complicated or simple. Have there been any issues that have occurred because of that pathology? So now your job as a radiology resident is to now answer those questions for the clinician. You want to make sure that your reports have some meaning to them have some substance to them. I cannot stress that enough. Radiology residency, you must, must, must read every single day. And now the final step that you can do, you have to come to work early and you have to stay late. And what you're gonna be doing is you need to be exposing yourself to cases. Yes, when you're at home, you're gonna be reading. And that reading, like I said, will pay dividends down the road. It's extremely crucial for you to read every single day so you can learn the material. But now you have to be able to practically apply it. The only way that's gonna happen is if you are actually taking cases, doing cases, reading studies, picking up studies. Let's say you're on a rotation and you're on ultrasound, for example. You're gonna be reading the ultrasounds, 
but if there's if you see a study piling up no one else is taking it and it's there in a different modality take it the more exposure you have the better that you're going to be not only when it comes to just taking cases but how about when you cut when you get to work early the reason why i said that is because you can then look at the reports from the night before there's going to be a senior resident that was on call the night before you can look at the overnight cases do a quick scroll through of the imaging studies see if you can make the primary diagnosis and then compare your thoughts to the thoughts that were there finalized by the attending see what the resident what was the thought process of the resident and see if you can pick up on the pathologies see if you can pick up on the nuances and even the incidental findings all these things matter a ton and it takes some time it takes some effort it takes some work for sure but i'm telling you the attendings around you are going to notice your reports are going to reflect the effort that you're putting into them and you are going to stand out and be a fantastic radiology resident so definitely a game changer is coming to work early and actually looking at previous cases especially when you're there early before your time starts before you're the one that has to start hitting the list you have this time where no one's going to be essentially bothering you or expecting you to do any work or pick up studies so this is your time where you can dedicate where you can just look at old cases see how things were phrased see what the attending how the attending phrased certain statements and certain pathologies and you're going to start building a database in your mind and you can even start writing things down when i was a first year i would write down certain phrases for certain pathologies that we see over and over again and that saves time down the road when you're on call and you're looking after study after study it saves time you build vocabulary and you're able to pick up on findings so you can learn so much off of these prior reports and that's what's different about radiology compared to some other specialties it's very difficult to learn off of past experiences with other specialties unless you do a deep dive into a, a patient's chart and you can do that for for internal medicine for example you could do a deep dive into, into a patient's chart and sort of get an understanding of how certain conditions were treated but for radiology it's very concise you have a, a previous study you can open up that study look at those images and just look at that report for that study and see exactly what was the perspective of the radiologist that was reading it and that will definitely pay dividends down the road so those are just some quick thoughts i have to head to work so i decided to just do a quick video just thinking about the new incoming radiology residents that are here again congratulations this is now the infancy of your career you're going to learn a lot it's going to be stressful but you're going to do great so keep these tips in mind check out some of my other content